first thing I'd say to the cop is, I hope you're not a Jewish citizen, <laughs> like the boss. <laughs> They've been told by their boss. But we're going to move in there too. <laughs> <laughs> they have to disband our parliament. Nah, they don't give them that much room. Uncle Cap, they're going to have to disband our parliament with the dual citizenship fiasco. Well, well, that'll be the next one. That's right. Uh, now, when can I start selling uh, roses <laughs> <laughs> and coffee and? So What's that song? I never promised you a rose garden. What's that song about the rose garden? I never promised you a rose garden. I never promised you a rose garden. But now we got it. Yes. Please, the more welcome to come sit down at the fire. Thank you. Traditionally, what we do is um, when we welcome people to the country and on our land, we um, welcome them in by a smoking ceremony and it lets everyone know that they're welcome onto our country and um, their time with us as we talk and discuss you know, politics or law or anything like that, they're safe with us. If you've got any um, bad omens or bad spirits with you, the smoking takes care of that as well. You can take your shoes off too if you want for a better connection. Thank <laughs> you. Good time here to feed out too. Thank you for taking your shoes off. That's the first time I've ever seen that. You know? like, yeah, I'll remember that always. You know? like, yeah. So on, on behalf of the uh, Nanawal and all my elders, past and present, and all the um, our future generations coming up, I'd like to welcome you to Nanawal land, Yenamuro, Marambidi, and our father, Yakambak. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Sure. Um, I guess we're we're here today to further the discussions that we had um, last Sunday evening um, regarding uh, some actions uh, which involves the uh, occupation of the lobby restaurant. Um, and I guess we're here today to find a way forward uh, with that. Um, so I leave that as an opening statement. What's the position of the forward? Do you represent NC? Okay, so I'll just so people understand my role and responsibility here. I'm the um, acting chief executive of the National Capital Authority, um, and in that capacity, I am the owner, I represent the Australian government's owner of the lobby built restaurant and the facilities associated with it. You're actually talking to the owners now of the building, of the country. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, um, Nyoka, Charlie, Arnie and myself, uh, we're Nunnall people, 
Uh, there are many other Ngunnawal people here in Canberra. And also, we've got uh, representatives of the Aboriginal Ten Embassy here with us who um, uh, support that. Dennis, Bungalong. Um, and as as we've stated before, you know we've never ceded our sovereignty on this land here. And, um, you know, it's always a fight for our mob to get recognition to who the rightful owners of the land are, and um, it's always a it's always a battle to get that across to uh, federal government and um, and local government as well. I don't think it's cut, it's cut and dried, as you're saying. If um, you were the legitimate owner, as you say, this would have been resolved pretty quickly on Sunday. Yes. Well, um, in that, in that couple of problems is that the, um, the breaking and entering into that building is illegal. And um, we would request that you people who are occupying that building leave as soon as possible. But do you gotta understand our point of view, the building on our land is illegal too. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You know, if we have to bite our tongue on that, what condoles you, what makes you so superior? You know, to make decisions. Like I, I I'll just leave it at that. What makes you so superior to be owner yet we're not? This is part of the unfinished business and yeah. it's gone for 240 what they're talking about. years. We, we dispute every word you say about that. And, and I understand that's your view. I understand you dispute. Speak up with Sorry, I understand that's your view. Um, however, the National Capital Authority's view is that occupancy of that building uh, is not lawful and we are ask, asking that you Right. And we are, our, 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 and we our, are, our view is that occupation of our land, all of our land, is not legal also, so yes. we're in pass again. Okay, well that's that's um, a choice, yeah. a choice that you, you make and make, but as I say, it is the true. Values. And we ask you again to leave the building. Um, that's sad, that's sad. I have a question. Did you see that, that way, what you know, that building intended? You asked what that people be pushed across sorry. paddocks to toilet. Sorry. Yeah? That's what sorry. you're asking sorry, could you That's what that you're that asking for, for people to be pushed across the paddocks to toilets. You know, that basic human right. You know what so mean? what happens if we refuse to remove off our own land that we've actually <laughs> asserted our sovereign right yes. as the traditional owners of this country? Because we're saying that you do not have no jurisdiction to actually tell us what to do in our country no more. Yes, we don't. Do you sit down and do you negotiate with us like you do with every other country in this? Sorry, yes. I'm, I'm not. Do we not have enough money to negotiate with you? She's trying to say. Um, sorry, I, I will speak to you in a moment if I'm. Sorry, do I? Yeah, sorry. What's the for that building anyway? Um, well, the building is a, you may, may be aware that there was a previous tenant uh, in that building who was serving food. Um, they chose to leave. Um, they're at, it was about two months before the end of their lease. And we're taking the opportunity to have a consider sort of way forward and what the uh, best use for that, that facility is over the coming years. So we haven't made a, there's not a final decision there. We've looked at some options. Has the embassy, embassy been involved in any of those negotiations? Uh, the embassy has not been involved in those discussions. Okay. We would like to be. Okay, well, I, I, I hear that. Um, however, I hear that you, you view that you should have been consulted on this. Uh, but uh, at the moment, our situation is that uh, occupancy um, is not something. We, we have agreed to. <coughs> it's a building. Not something we agreed to either. That may, that, I understand that you think that this is legitimate, however, from Well, no, the we know it, it's more Authority. than thinking, it's knowing our legitimacy. Okay. From the National Capital Authority's perspective, how did that occupancy is illegal? And once again, I ask that you leave. Yeah. We don't agree with that. We think that as traditional owners, 
And as, as representatives, I don't think we need your permission to be on our own country. Well, I guess that's... And that's where you've got to come back and start negotiating with us as a people. We're asserting our sovereign right in this country. Okay, I understand that's how you see it. We have a difference. You're sitting on a <coughs> sovereign land right now. How long has that place been vacant for? I think we're talking to different... It has been vacant for about six months, eight months. Longer. So, no, but this is... It's for longer than that, and it's just sitting there doing nothing. Now that we've occupied it, you've all, all of a sudden chair. Now, just give me one reason why you think uh, that the Ngunnawal people can't have that set up. Uh, at the place. The Ngunnawal people uh, uh, I think they deserve more than just a sign on the road as you're coming in to say that you're entering the Ngunnawal country. They deserve more than that because of the of the city Canberra Park plonk straight on top of their uh, their, their country, and uh, I think they deserve more than that. And all the, I don't know if it comes to dollars, if the money's the object, uh, I don't think they're asking for much. Uh, but anyhow, as I said, give me that one good reason why you mob. Uh, think that the Ngunnawal don't deserve that, uh, the, the, the lobby. I, I know you can't make the decision here now, and you're telling us to, to vacate the place, and uh, I, I think you should go back in, to your authority, as you call them, and uh, maybe if you can't this, you know, like I said, decide. You should go back to the authorities, get the prime ministers and whoever your authority is, and get bring them down here. So uh, we'll and ask them that simple question: what I said to you, that uh, the reason why you think the animal don't deserve that, and the few little dollars that they're uh, requesting. I think there should be more duck eggs put on the end of that because that's not much to ask for considering uh, the pain and the destruction and I don't know how much money you people make on making it on this place. And uh, hey mate, we're at the time now, I, I know you might be in trouble up there with uh, all the double dual citizenship stuff. But, uh, I, I think we can work out, you know, bring the mob down and let's talk about it. Let's make peace. Let's go forward and do the right thing. Because we're the real <coughs> citizen of this country and we've been so for more than 40,000 years. And, uh, we could have saved you mob a lot of trouble had you come the right way in the first place and listened to us. Even with the thingy with the embassy, it's been 45 years now. And, you know, instead of coming down and talking and negotiating the good proper way, you know, it's always been bagging us and whatnot. Nobody wants to listen to us. And, you know, the time's come for us to make peace, bus because uh, we can't go away. You're asking us something that we can't do because we are responsible, born with obligations and responsible abilities to look after our land and uh, there's no justice being done ever since. How long have you been in that? 250 years? You know, it's time to come and talk, but 
We don't want you to go back there, you say, and we don't want you to go back there and send the, the boys in to rough hand us. Uh, and nobody wants to get locked up. We don't want to go through that stuff. We don't want to go through the thing in high court. But if we have to, if that's your decision, then uh, we'll have to do it. But uh, that's not what we want. We want a common sense and a peace talk. We're all humans, we're all people. So put that to your mind. But think about it, Russ. But thanks, yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming down. Well, there was, there was a lot in what there was a lot in what she said about much, almost all of it was really outside the, the sort of responsibilities of the National Capital Authority and that that uh, so I mean if you I thought they make the decision so, but then uh, I'm not asking a simple thing they would give me a good, one good reason why you think the Gunnerwald can't have that. Occupy the place, so we, they're, look, we're offering a lot of good things there, mate. The cultural food, you know, whatever, good stuff. They can even come down there and have a meal with us. And we want to open as soon as we can, because we have a gathering here next in the in January. And you know, we've always been buying food there. We want it. It'll be good if we could buy our food there. Uh, Bush Tucker, Bush Medicine, whatever, and also storytelling and, yeah. But in there, use a bit of common sense, brother, and just get the mob to come down if you can't make it. I know you can't make it, because you've got to go through the authorities. And, uh, yeah. Now, my understanding is that this is vacant, Crown Mountain. The block over there with a... Cafe is vacant, Crown Green. It's vacant, um, it's vacant at the moment. The building does not have a, a, a what, lease. Well, what's the what's the status so of the vacant. land? Is it Crown land? Is it? Yes. Um, it's all in. It's it's Commonwealth land. Commonwealth land. Crown land. Crown land. Yeah. And it's vacant, Crown land at the moment. So, um, who do you actually have to report to with the NCA? Like, do you have a board or...? Um... Uh, the governance structure of the National Capital Authority is uh, from where an independent statutory authority. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been entrusted um, to manage the national estate um, and look after planning and design matters and uh, a number of other uh, related activities. Uh, the way the organisation is structured, the chief executive is responsible for day-to-day -day operations of the agency, and just at the moment I'm the acting chief executive, so the decisions related to this uh, fall to myself. So you're acting? Acting chief executive, yes. So no decision can be made right now? No, no, no. no decision can be made, and the, and the request I have made of leave the building is, um, is sound in law um, and it's something I'll repeat again. Um, the nature of an acting appointment really reflects the time of the appointment, the length of the time. In my case it goes through to January of next year. So, but I have full legal authority of the agency. And that's your instructions to remove the occupants from over there now? I'm, I'm, I'm requesting that the occupants leave the, leave there, the there is no negotiation around uh, so that no, space. The building has been illegally years. occupied and we're asking that you leave. Well, our country's been illegally occupied and we've been asking that you lot leave for a very long time, but we don't I understand, get... I understand that perspective, but I, as, as well, we... No, you don't. It flows down to everything. Yeah. Mm. This is a little small space. Just coincides with everything. Everyone gets to be heard from this place. Even you fellas. Give Sorry, us a I'm, chance. I'm not, I'm not sure how much on your call I'm going to be able to um, uh, achieve at this meeting. I, I've expressed my request that you depart from the building. Um, we have it, it's really a tr it's, um, it's up to us now. It's, it's up to yourselves. Yeah. We've also requested that you cease and desist and leave the 
the property here, and that means all of it, the Rose Garden Cafe included. We are sovereign people, and this is none of all land. It's been a, a very convenient exercise of this um, Australian state to ignore us for 240 years, and our right to land, and our right to live and exist. We have been forced into poverty because of this system and the lies that it perpetrates right around this country, right around the world. <coughs> asking from the International Capital Authority is a bit of honesty on your part and uh, maybe some room to negotiate around those points of, in relation to honesty, in relation to the real situation here. Your, your government is illegitimate today as it was when it was founded. Um, it is unauthorised and its illegitimacy will bring the country down if you don't seek and want to negotiate with our people in relation to your legitimacy, not ours. There's no question Well, I think uh, unless there's anything else, um, my colleague and I will thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for looking to your farm. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you may you leave the Do okay. you have letterheads from NCO? I'd just like to have a look at one, please. Uh, Ten years. Yeah, but I'm just the question is, do you have an acknowledgement to country like most government agencies do on your letterheads? Um, you legislation? Sure no, I'm not. To an acknowledgement that this is the Thank land of Ngunnawal well. people. Do you have that on your letterheads? So where are they? What are these blokes doing? Can we wait for Brian to come? Because we'd like an Aboriginal we, liaison officer to be present. Can we get present. contact with Brian ASAP then? Yeah. Let him know the situation. He's away until Monday. Maybe this is a need to know thing. Well, he's contactable. Yeah, so. just let it give him a heads up, and I think we should hear what he has to say about it. I reckon he's had a lot of contact with the embassy. Yeah. That's how it works. So we wait till we see Brian. We'd like talking to Brian. Well, is there a way that Brian can talk um, via the telephone? I don't know. You got to sort that out with the elders. I don't have contact. But I try to tell the minister that. Don't use common sense. I'm, I'm going to tell you, Mob, now too, as well. I'll ask you, Mob, to use common sense. If, even if you have to discard your uniforms, don't, don't take that other way. Don't do the bad things. Them days are gone. It's time to move on and make peace. If you have to remove your uniforms and resign, make a statement and do it. And you'll feel better for it, you and your families and whatnot. Uh, because the time's come, because it's not only this business, it's, this has been going on all, of, all around Australia, all around everywhere. Our jails in prison and all this stuff, and new blokes have been shooting us and tasing us and killing us and God knows what else. Don't do that anymore. You'd be a better person for it. Come and walk with us. Come and have a feed with us. Make peace. Your families would love you forever. You'll go down and say one of the, some of the greatest people of all time because you come and make them peace with us. They shouldn't have done that to you, fellas. Now they get jumped up and walked away and left you with this shit. That's wrong. Well, we're here to, we're here to re make a peaceful resolution to resolve these peaceful Make you fellas look like idiots now. Well, so how do you, yeah, suggest, you, how do you suggest we resolve it peacefully when He's got they want back. to evict us and we want to maintain the occupancy? Well, I think one way is to, to perhaps um, comply with their direction. Apply. To, to va vacate the premises and then, that, then we've got a lot of time to talk mm. and to actually you know, go to the appropriate government departments and the appropriate agencies. Now, we've been talking for so long and those people haven't listened to us. So we're exerting how... Prior to this action, we weren't even a part of the conversation, and that's very insulting to all of our people. You shall never listen to us. You shall never do what we <coughs> ask. Simple reason, I ask for a simple reason why the poor are on the wall. As I, as I was trying to make the point with Andrew... Okay, people, love his um, I think he's about to say help here. That's for sure. He's going to yeah, work out a civil solution today. Okay. We acknowledge that we stand on the lands of the Ngunnawal people for this, in this instance. So it would not 
uh, be very surprised if they didn't have something like that. So um, all of their paperwork, all of their letters, their letters, there's acknowledgement that this is Ngunnawal land. And yet that doesn't follow through into the simple logistics of the business of whose land this is. It's all lip service, empty rhetoric, or if we get down to the nuts and bolts, lies. We are tired of the lies of the system. We want truth from the system and we want to be able to live and exist on our own life, on our own country as human beings. Not as these uh, lower beings that have no resources. Uh, we're forced into a lifetime of poverty from the cradle to the grave with this system. And the police in particular know how much we have to butt heads against the system because most of the time it's your heads and our heads Coda! making contact. We'd like to find a different way. Yep, and that's what we're here for. We're here today to work with you. Um, a direction has been given to vacate the lobby. Um, and ultimately, you know, we're, we're here as, as police, but we're here to work with you to, to, to vacate it peacefully and also, I guess, to try and facilitate discussion so you are around the table. You are our community, so we're here to work with you well, and to make it as peaceful we've made a as, as, as we can. Well, I think maybe we should need to talk. You want to do some sort of press release or something after? After. Mm -hmm. We just need to talk and move this. Well, we've made our point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and if, you, if you wanted to go into discussions, you'd need to contact the relevant authority in relation to being there instead of... like. The National Capital Authority again, yeah. Well, I know if they have ultimate say over... I think they do, the parliamentary think, zone in particular. Also, <coughs> yeah. I don't know whether we mentioned, but I think Prime Minister and Cabinet also have a say Some who, say. who occupies yeah. that building. Tell your officers, your commission or police, whatever they are, that, uh, tell them to don't do the other thing. Don't come in heavy with us. Yeah. So we'll be still sitting there with you. We're peaceful people, we're going to be sitting there, we've got kids, we've got old people, sick people, and we've got big issues out there that you fellas haven't uh, assisted us ever since you've been here, the 250 years. And now, this, we can end all that. You, like I said, you'd be better, whatever. But if, if your choice, your commissioner, please, whatever it is, the choice to come and bust us down and bust us out and taser and laser us, well, that's your decision. We don't want that. We want the peaceful solution as well. So we're giving you a way out here, brother, the peace. But anyhow, thanks. I th okay, I've had enough myself. These mob might want to say something. Well, can we, can we ask you to leave for a minute? Sorry, we, can have no, a we just want to, want to have a discussion yeah. amongst ourselves. Yeah, and if we could just yeah. ask the lead, yeah. media to just give us some information yeah. for about no, 10 minutes. There's a tent over there if you want to sit under there. In the shade shade. over there. Yeah. Yeah. What we're requesting through the Federal Police and NCA is this list that they hold off and hopefully if we can get um, some time with Brian next week and also um, to go and see uh, the Minister Scullion about this issue. So we would be asking for at least a week's grace um, to sort through what our legal position is, we know what our moral position is. I can't. The NCA have given a direction mm. for you to um, leave the building. Mm -hmm. They're the owner of the building. They're the ones that have made that request. All right. Um, okay, yeah, I accept that. So they they've made a request to leave the building. Mm -hmm. Could we have it that you leave the building, you have the negotiations, and then it takes the angst out of, takes the fire out of it? Well, we'd hey, prefer to just get the week's abeyance if we can. We need to be well, able to I'm, have our legal, ad yeah, um, we need I'm, legal advice too yeah. in relation to this issue, and we need to um, talk to other people. So, I'm, I'm not the building owner. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm well, we, we're actually the building owner, but everybody yeah. ignores that yeah. conveniently. Okay. So. But um, I, I can't give you a week's grace. 
Well, that's, uh, that, well, you can certainly relay the, the message to NCA. Yeah. And what I think we're asking is that if it does come down to the crunch, that we would request from uh, the federal police that there be no use of force, that we negotiate. Oh, yeah, and yeah. look, from our point of view, is if the people that are inside the lobby restaurant leave now, there's no further action yeah. because they've complied with the direction to leave. So if they do comply with that direction and they do leave the building, there's no further action will be taken. So it's actually, I think that is the, from my point of view, is... Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the easiest and most convenient solution no, all around. No. But we yeah. want to be able to explore what our legal rights are in this situation yeah. before we make that final decision. Legal, and I think we are entitled to that. But the legal may take longer than a week as well. It only takes yeah. uh, five minutes to get legal advice off a good lawyer. Well, like I said, I'm not the building owner. The building owner has asked or directed... Yeah, well, I think that what we would building. say, we'd leave that request in abeyance for at least a week until we can have those meetings. I'm well, sorry, I can't. Meeting, I can't well, he's away. He's in Western the main New South Wales is, somewhere. What the Minister says, if we vacate that place, then he'll negotiate with us. We want you and him and the authorities to come and negotiate with us now while we're still in the yep. building. And if you guys can't make that decision, you should go back to your authorities and tell them that to bring the mob down, because instead of you blokes up and down, bring your bosses down here and negotiate with us while we're still there. Don't wait sending the mob to ask for us to get us out of there. Negotiate with us now while we're still in the building. It's wrong to get us out of the building, then negotiate with us. Mm. You don't do it, that's the wrong way of doing things. Do it the right way, brother, you'll be better off for it. Make peace. We're, we're willing and ready to negotiate, but we would need to have some formal points yeah. acknowledged first, yeah. like the real ownership. Yeah, well, that's a government ish, um, area, isn't it? So it's not policing, we don't have power to. Yeah, I know. But the government has a problem with its legitimacy right around the world at the moment. Thanks for coming in the afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.